Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This week we will be reviewing and benchmarking the Dell 14 2-in-1 Core i3 machine. This laptop is perfect for those of you who are constantly torn between buying a laptop or a tablet. Why choose one when you can have both? This machine has a 14 inch display, making it just big enough to work on like a laptop, but just small enough to work on as a tablet too. This laptop was bought for £470 in the UK on Dell's official website. Let's take a look at the specs. It has an Intel Core i3 processor, two cores and four thread. UHD graphics, 4GB DDR4, 3200 RAM, 256GB NVMe SSD, 14 inch Full HD Wide View Angle Display, Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1, and a 3 cell 40 Watt Hour battery. This 2 in 1 machine comes in a small Titan grey design with a smooth plastic outer casing. It has a full keyboard, however, when you push the screen all the way back, it then becomes a touchscreen tablet and the keyboard automatically deactivates. Onto the ports. So, on the right of this laptop, we have an SD card reader, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A, and a headset jack. And on the left, we have a power jack, a HDMI 1.4B, USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A, and a USB C. Next are the benchmarks for this laptop to test how well this machine will work in terms of power and performance. First, we ran a program called Cinebench, which is tested in single core and multi core. The Cinebench results show that the multi-core test for this machine gave a score of 2470, which is average. The single core test gave a score of 1122, which is also pretty average. We then tested some further performance benchmarks and the next one we tested was PC Mark. PC Mark tests the business tailored things such as conference calls, etc. The result for this was 3395, which is another standard score for this machine. We then tested Geekbench, which is tested in single core and multi core again. The results came back with a single core score of 708 and a multi core score of 2005, which isn't terrible but also not great. And last but not least of the productivity benchmarks was Crystal Disk Mark, which tests the read and write speeds of the laptop. Results for this are displayed on the screen here. Now for the power benchmarks. The first one tests how long it takes for the machine to charge from 0% to 100%. This laptop took two hours to fully charge, which is standard for a laptop as you can see. Now the other way around, we tested how long it would take for the battery to drain completely after running at full power. This machine again took two hours to completely run out of battery, which ranks in the middle of the graph. The final power test that was done was the YouTube video test. This is where we leave a YouTube video running for as long as possible until the machine runs out of battery to see how long it takes. The results for this show that the machine took around 10 hours and 40 minutes to run out of battery, which is an average score, edging towards the top half of the graph. That brings us to the end of this video. Overall, this laptop seems to be a pretty standard machine. It does the job and the price is pretty transparent to the performance. We hope you found this video useful and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye!